Hey everybody, this is the Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we're back again for segment three, and I gotta go get a drink of water. Hey, how, how's that to open it up? You should have got good. one during the break. <laughs> you should have. Oh, well. Anyway, we t- decided we was going to talk about water. Now, ain't that an interesting subject? It is very interesting. Really? Well, well, you I'm know, we're made up of water. 80% or something? 85, 80, 85% something percent like of water. That. And we don't, we, as a general population, yeah. don't get enough water. Some people do. And usually the people that do make a marked effort to get the correct amount. And a lot of times mm-hmm. you hear that we're supposed to get eight ounces, I mean eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day, yeah. which is only 64 ounces. But actually you're supposed to get half of your weight in ounces. So for example, if you weighed 200 pounds, you should be getting 100 ounces of water a day, which is a lot of water. Somebody my mm-hmm. size should be drinking about a gallon a day. Well, we were eating lunch the other day and Manuel Waters mentioned the fact that he drinks a gallon of water a day. Which is really good for you, too, if you got high sugar, because it helps yep. flush that sugar. It flushes stuff out, out of your system. your system. And he takes and has a gallon of water every morning. So now, they, you drink it every he morning. Drinks he drinks them. No, he, he, he has, he has one. He starts out with a gallon of water, yeah. and he makes sure he drinks it during the day, which is would be wonderful. But I can't hardly imagine drinking. I, I probably have drank a gallon of water, but I was probably working real hard or he, doing something. He would get a lot of exercise going to the bathroom. Yeah, Constantly well, heading that way. You better makes, stop somewhere before you go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> water makes yeah. me just feel really full. I drink next to no well, water. That, that helps. Next to no water. And I should. That helps oh, I know, but, but if I, I drink, I just feel bloated when I drink water. I read somewhere that <clears throat> if you will drink 16 ounces of water mm-hmm. before every meal, that you will naturally eat less. Mm-hmm. I heard that. If food will be floating around. Especially or, if you start eating something that will bloat, like bread or something. Spaghetti or something, <laughs> which I can't have, so I don't well, know. My wife carries, she always, it drives me crazy because she always carries a big glass or big thermos thing of water. Everywhere she goes. We do. In That's the water. church, everywhere she we, goes. We do. And I'm thinking, I mean, and I think I drink plenty of water, but I'm not always thirsty, but she's always thirsty. We do all the time. Did yeah. you get her a canteen for Mother's Day? Yeah. Oh. Get well, her you're, well, get her a camelback. You know, camelback. You ever seen those? No. Camelback. It's a thing like it looks like a backpack you wear, yeah. and it's got. Does it have like a straw? A bladder around? in there. Yeah, and it's got a straw that comes around to oh, the man. front and you can sip on it. What is a someone, lot of these people hiking yeah. and running, they wear them. What if somebody came up and said, Oh, you carry a smacker on the back. And you just... <laughs> And all yep. of a sudden, she'd have a belly full of water. Yeah. Well, well they could see that backpack sorry. on you, so they yeah. wouldn't... Oh. Hopefully, it wouldn't be doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, Kathy and I both, whenever... If we're going somewhere in a car, we always fill up at least one no. big, like a probably a 30-ounce tumbler full of water, and we share it and drink it during the day. That's the only person in the world I will share drinking utensils with. I won't. I won't drink well, after my grandchildren. Well, that's because when you're, I've you're seen French them, what they call you won't French your grandchildren. Whenever, whenever, <laughs> whenever <laughs> they drink out of it, they call the little things swimming in the water mermaids. Oh yeah, floaters, little floaties, whatever they call sea monkeys. Them. Sea monkeys. <laughs> I don't. <and laughs> I, don't I don't want nobody else. I, I don't want to drink sea monkeys. Now, KC, you say <laughs> tea doesn't count. No. Why Coffee. Is that? Because it's that? a diuretic, so it means it's been diluted. If you your water's if been you diluted drink a, a, a glass of tea, you're going to lose it quicker than you get any benefit from. I it? don't think you lose it quicker, but you it, it's not as not the equivalent of drinking yeah. 16 ounces. It of water. doesn't end up in your cells. It's not as beneficial. Like it just it water. passes water. through a lot faster without well, doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed it, to take its time going through, yeah. so it can gather up all of the bad things, yeah. the sugar, oh. the things that need to be flushed. I catch your drift. Okay. Now, uh, now, drinking water is good for your skin, right? Yes. You need and to hydrate. Skin? And if you're diabetic, yeah. you have a better tendency to, or more of a tendency to have dry skin. Yeah. And so that helps you hydrate that. Uh-huh. Which I do. I have real dry skin. Dry skin. I, as I get older, I'm getting drier. I think I'm just drying I'll out dry as, as I get older. Now, when I be, if I don't, I don't find the bathroom to pee. Oh. Now, how do we all three know that <laughs> from our childhood? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. One of the out of bed, of down life. the hall, Mr. Pot and hit the wall. <laughs> have mercy. Uh-huh. But anyhow, speaking man. of water, I drink city water. But I don't have a choice Ooh. unless I bought it somewhere. Yeah. Which ain't I've, great. Got, I've gotten used to that, and I work with it. But, you don't think about the chlorine that much. No, I, and I'm and having worked in, in water in water plant at yeah. State Hospital. I mean, I know I know it's all right, but I preferred much more having it out of a well, like when I grew up in Nocatee. But we didn't have 
sulfur water like some people oh, I Oh, you did. didn't? We did not have sulfur oh, water. Oh, we do. We have did you like it? Water. Oh, you do now? Yeah. But, well, we got a, what but, you call it, but aerated. it's still. You have an area. Yeah. I do, too. But sulfur water makes awful tea. It smells like boiled But did eggs. you know you can take you a gallon of sulfur water right. and set it out on the counter overnight, yeah. Yeah. and the next morning it will no longer be That's right. sulfur That's water. That's the purpose of your aerator. Yeah. yeah I you know, like- um, I, I don't have... Uh, we have a well, well, and an aerator, but we don't. I don't notice the sulfur. Well, like because you have other people's pl- other people's places. I've been riding around in a car, and you go by an orange grove, yeah, and they're they're irrigating yes. with water, and I'm thinking, whoa! Now, if somebody buzzer yes. off a if puke somebody wagon, gets in the shower at my house and they shower <laughs> too long, you'll start smelling it because yeah, they start yeah. using up that yeah all the water out of the aerator, and then it was the new water getting, is yeah. Has yeah, not had time to dissipate well. the sulfur. Yeah. They say the best thing to have is a reverse osmosis system. Well, that's what I'd like to have. If, if I ha- had a pool, it had the reverse osmosis. But that's kind of uh, And they say it's expensive. a lot better to have a salt pool Isn't than that expensive? a chlorine pool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, on the ship, you know, the, the cruise ships, they have salt pools. Yeah. The swimming yeah. pools yeah. have salt water in them. They just suck the water right out of the ocean, stick it in there, and... Yeah, I've you never seen any with, fish swimming around in there. Swim with the mermaids. Or whatever, but we're, we're thankful for water. We have oh, to have yeah. it to bathe, what to drink, to make coffee. Coffee, but especially what I was coffee. When you said, mm-hmm. you know, our body is 90, 80, 90 some percent water. Well, on Star Wars, when they pull out that zapper and they zap somebody and they, they, it they vaporize. Them. It boils them. I was thinking, why don't they, they just end up like as a what, pool of water on the floor? I don't know. It's like being... It evaporates. It's like being yeah. in a microwave. You know, when your stuff's in a microwave, what, how I think it works is it's agitating the water molecules and whatever's in mm-hmm. it and then making them boil, yeah. so to speak, and that heats up what's in the microwave, I hate it the when moisture. I, I hate it when I put my oatmeal in there and it blows up because I put it too long. <laughs> I wonder, what, what if they it's could meal, use then. something yeah. like that? i got to eat the oatmeal off the sides of the wall. With the- Gross. I wonder how long you would last if there was a giant microwave. And you got in it. And you got in turned it. on. You turned it on. I wonder yeah. how you would laugh. Before you exploded. It would just boiled your brain. Your eyes popped out. And you... <laughs> I bet that'd be a weird thing. <laughs> I've never done it, but have you ever? I'm pretty put, sure put... you've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Never lived to tell about it. That'd be the end of mail. Yeah. Well, this says 70%. I thought it was higher. I thought, I thought, like, I thought like, 80%. What Luke yeah. said was about right. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know. They say when you're born, you're 80%. Really? When you're born, you're more water than you said are. Said a healthy anything. person can drink three gallons of water. A day. But you know they uh, they had years ago a contest up somewhere on a radio station. We'll never do to see who could drink the most water. And the woman That's dangerous. The woman died. I believe Whoa. it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I you believe can, it. You can die of that. Yeah, right? because it's not that it poisons yeah. you. It just depletes you of yeah. a lot of your minerals that you have to have, like potassium. Without potassium, you're in because yeah. that regulates your heartbeat and all kinds of things. That's crazy. Other stuff. One of the few things I remember that I learned while working at the water plant, and water weighs 8.34 pounds, a gallon of water. Uh-huh. 8.34. That's a lot of weight yeah, to be yeah. putting in your body to, to walk around with or whatever. So, Especially if you drink three gallons. That's exactly right. <laughs> but, you're, but you're whizzing around. Walking around, around with tw- 24 right, pounds, right. hopefully. So well, you know, some of these football players lose. They lose that much perspiration. 15, 20 pounds and a day. Of, of, yeah. And I even read some more that Leonard Bernstein did when he was directing the Philharmonic mm-hmm. Orchestra. I believe it. Well, I we can't. we are out of town. Oh. Out of water. Out of water. We'll see you back for the next segment shortly. All right.